Whatever. Hello. As you may well be aware, uh, the new series of Doctor Who Series 8 with the new Doctor Peter Capaldi is coming out very soon. It's for uh, Saturday the 23rd of August. And um, I'm going to be talking about Doctor Who. So if you don't want spoilers for things, if you haven't watched it, and where have you been? Seriously, keep up. Don't, don't watch. I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. I've watched since the very first episode of the new series, so that's the first Christopher Eccleston episode, and I haven't missed an episode since, except the Sycorax episode, which I still need to catch up on. Don't know why I missed that one. Must have been busy on Christmas. Whatever. I'm really looking forward to the new Peter Capaldi Doctor. I want to see what he brings to the table, really. Seems to be quite interesting. I'm one of those weird people who doesn't really ha particularly have a favourite Doctor. I love all of the new Doctors, and some of the old Doctors are quite good too. I really like Chris Ferguson's Doctor, David Tennant and Matt Smith's Doctor, and it looks like Peter Capaldi's going to be there too. So, for people in my position who can't really choose, it's like choosing between your children. Um, so, in my position, just say John Hurt when people ask, because, you know, throw them off a bit. Whoa, John Hurt, that's wacky crazy! My favourite episodes are Blink, obviously, because who doesn't love Blink? And um, The Wars of Mars, which I think is a really great episode. Um, but even though both of my favourite episodes are um, David Tennant episodes, I still don't really know who my favourite Doctor is. There's a big debate over Russell T Davis versus Stephen Moffat and I really don't know which one I prefer. I quite like them both. I feel like Russell T Davis is written quite cleverly and um, is quite safe but Stephen Moffat goes for more inventive and original and explosive things but it does leave a lot of plot holes unfortunately. Um, but then again I just enjoy it for what it is. I don't look too much into the little problems. I don't particularly have a least favourite Doctor, but I think my least favourite episode is um, Angels of Manhattan. Not because it's sad. I mean, it is sad that Amy and Rory had to go, but I find it more sad that they had to go in such an awful episode. I really didn't think it was a very good episode. I feel like they've ruined the um, Angels and the whole Statue of Liberty thing, and um, it was a bit cheap felt a bit rushed. I mean, I could... I'm gonna probably make another video on why I don't like that episode. But yeah, a lot of plot holes and stuff in that. Um, a lot of predictions about what Series 8 is gonna be about, and one of the things that people hope a lot for that they're gonna continue is the name of the Doctor thing, where they're like, Ooh, what's the name of the Doctor? What could it be? It's a mystery! Um, so, a fan uh, on the internet came up with a complex algorithm to actually discover what the Doctor's name is using all of the clues spread across throughout the series, all the way from William Hartnell's era um, to modern day. And um, it sort of did all this complex maths, like it took the average and chopped it up and then divided it by the power of all the Doctors and then the numbers and I don't know, but it came up with Gerald is the Doctor's name apparently. So yeah, that's that. Makes sense, I guess, if you think about it. A very similar algorithm was used to discover that Peter Capaldi's Doctor will be a very violent Doctor. Um, this algorithm showed that the 12th Doctor will break someone's bone on average 27 times per episode. So yeah, I'm making this video now on Friday, uh, before the Saturday when the new series comes out, because I don't want to make it on Saturday, because I will be drinking lots of tea and tearing wallpaper off the walls in little strips to stop myself um, getting too excited. I will be too hyped up to be able to do anything. This will probably come out in the morning of Saturday. Yeah, so it's fairly safe to say that I am peeing my pants with excitement, though that would be if I was actually wearing anything below the, below the waist. 